the other one that's going to blow your mind is growing your online community. So you can do all this work and you can be putting out there and like just killing it with everything you're putting out. But a lot of traps that I find nonprofits get into is they're like, Facebook is our best resource. And that's where we put all of our time and effort in there. We have the most engagement and I'll go, cool. Then you should grow your Facebook audience. And then they go, oh, well, how do you, how do you grow your followers? Or you're thinking, well, Allison, you mentioned backlinks earlier. How are we going to get any other website to mention our content? E. So what you want to do is you're going to mine the audience of like-minded folk that are talking about the same content as you are. You're not going to go out there and try to find 10, 50, 100, 100,000 new people to talk to. You're going to go do research on people just like you, find out what their community is doing, and start following their community. And you do that with a program called Spark Toro. Yeah, it's free. Boop, boop. I love Spark Toro. So it's free. The free plan lets you do 10 searches a month and you can't download what it gives you, but you can just do a screen cap. It's fine. So this is made by um, Rand Fishkin, who is an amazing marketer. And basically it will mine all the social media platforms and it will tell you who the audience is, what hashtags they're using, their political leaning, what websites they're visiting, what podcasts they're listening to. It's insane. Someone please give me a topic to research. I love SparkToro crazy cool. All right, who's got a good topic? Throw it into the chat. Here Who we go. wants to find out about the audience? My audience frequently talks about... I've got someone here. So um, each channel is talking about film festivals. Okay, we're going to do a search for this. I'm giving up one of my search credits this month for y'all just to just to see. Okay, so let's see here. So what does it tell me about about film festivals? The audience size is very large. The top phrases in there, actually, yeah, we're going to click right into audience insight here. So around film festivals, it shows me all of the frequently used words and phrases that they share. So this could be good when you're writing content or when you're creating tweets or, or, or Facebook posts. This is literally telling you all of the words that are used and how popular they are. This one is frequently used words and phrases in the bios. And this one might be a little, it might, it, this one might be a little tricky because I don't know if it's going to skew towards those in film festivals or people who watch them, but hey, you can do up to 10 searches a month. Every month it'll reset. A great one I love here is they show you all the most frequent hashtags. So if you're using Instagram, ta -da! they're all here. It's insane, right? It tells you the political sharing activity of them, if that's important or relevant to how you organize yourself, which is great. And also geographic location. This is an American product that's based off of Twitter and then it kind of reverse engineers it. So it's a little skewed sometimes, but you can have lovely results like that. Let me see here. Social, here's a great way that I love to do it, is it'll tell you, of course, Sundance came up, but it gives you all of their profiles. You could just control click and then save, like you can start to follow these people and then add them to your Twitter list, add them to your groupings or do any research you wanna do. And the reason is you wanna do this, number one, they might follow you back. Great, maybe not Sundance, who knows, but they might follow you back. So bam, you got an, you got an, on, you have a, an instant new follower to add to your flow. But also now you're gonna have an idea of what kind of content they're putting out and you can see what people are reacting to. So if you were like, well, we really wanna do a thing about, about indie film, well, let's go through some of these top, these top social accounts and see when they talk about indie film, what kind of response do they get? And that can help you save a ton of time. You might be like, this is a bad example. You might say, oh, no one really, whenever they talk about indie film, they get no information. But whenever they talk about strikes, they get all kinds of, I don't know, again, it would come down to what's happening in that world. And then the last piece is that you can also engage and start retweeting, reposting, mentioning their content, which might also get them interested, but also their audience will start going, wait a minute, that person also, they also talk about Sundance. I'm going to follow them as well. So this can be a wonderful resource for you to do that. Podcasts, a great way to get backlinks is to be on podcasts. You can see here all kinds of different ones, which you may or may not be aware of. But in the overview section, they have a section called hidden gems. And what hidden gems are is these are social accounts with smaller overall reach, but they have really high engagement among this audience. So I say, why are you trying to knock on the door of Sundance when there might be something going on with Sheriff Doc Fest? Again, I don't know who these folk are, but there might be a chance for you because they're not as unindated as all these larger accounts. 
So that's pretty wicked, eh? When it comes to like YouTube and stuff, Spark Toro is a great way for you to grow your audience and to start engaging and to know that these people already are relevantly talking about your topic at hand. And you can do that. You can do specific accounts. People will visit certain websites, hashtags. You can do your own information first. And then every 10 months it resets or every month it resets. You get 10 more. Talk about an amazing, amazing free tool. The paid version is really expensive. So I took the free personally. So are there any questions around traffic or growing your online community? Not yet, but people are very grateful that you've sacrificed some of your searches for us today. <laughs> and the good news is that if you do it and then you like retype it the next day, it won't count as another one. It's like, you look at this yesterday. It's like, thank you, Ran. You don't know I'm going to screen cap this to you, but I am for my own, for my own research. I just love those little tabs. So you can actually just click and open up their profiles really quickly. And just like start following on mass and like making Twitter lists or making whatever you want to do there.